people can expect to see some of the biggest, baddest radio control scale replica helicopters flying here on the front grounds of the museum. You have jet powered helicopters, electric helicopters, some up to nine and a half or 10 feet long. And they look absolutely real in the sky because they fly like real helicopters. In addition, newcomers can meet with radio control retailers, get into the hobby with smaller, more accessible helicopters that have GPS guidance that prevent them from making mistakes. And then they can also meet with full-scale helicopter industry representatives like Bell Helicopter, uh, Airbus, Leonardo, GE Aerospace, Sinclair College, and they can talk about what the opportunities are in the helicopter industry, whether they're wanting to intern or go post high school. Friday and Saturday will be packed with activities. We have four different competition categories. We have team formation, emergency medical service flight. So you might see a helicopter carrying a bucket of water, dipping it in, dumping it. And we have military competition and we have precision hovering. Those are the competition categories and spectators can follow those live on rcliveScore.com. They can just use their phone, see the scores, look at the models, check out the pilots. And in between flying activities, they can cut into the museum and go through the hangars, get a little air conditioning, get some food in the cafeteria, walk through the gift shop and really take in the museum. And while you're in the museum, you'll have a rare opportunity to actually walk through some of these helicopters. And you don't have to shrink down and be miniature like you do for the RC. You can actually experience what it's like for the crew of one of these helicopters. And it's, it's an amazing experience because the models that are, the actual helicopters that are in the museum have seen service and you can picture yourself as one of the crew member back during the times when these helicopters were in service for our country.